Hello everybody, Loki Magics, another day, another video. But today's video, we're gonna talk about the daily login rewards 270 day reward, which is this champion right here. I think it's Vysix the Unbowed. Now, this champion, man, I was looking forward to getting here, but once again, I was disappointed. But we're gonna talk about all that. But here is an interesting fact that maybe most of you guys already knew. I didn't know this, but Unbowed literally means not having submitted to pressure or demands which i think is pretty funny because daily login rewards was being demanded by the community very strongly it was always in discord and pretty much a lot of youtuber content videos they're always talking about these daily login rewards and on day 270 this champion's last words are unbowed very very interesting maybe there's something there maybe it's not i don't know but hey, just figure I'll let you guys know. But anyways, let's get into the video. All right, so this is my Vice 6, the Unbowed. And um, man, I really don't know if I'm fortunate or unfortunate to pull this champion early. I did open some shards and boom, this is what I got. If you guys seen that video of me doing that, you knew I was pretty upset. But hey, man, you know, it is what it is. But I am here today to tell you that she is the worst LEGO champion in this game and we're going to explain why but first let's talk about her aesthetics and i think she looks pretty cool which is unfortunate because she really sucks but she does have a very cute face model her skin looks pretty good nothing really crazy right but it really works nice color palette nothing really pops out well kind of i guess we had a little a little sneak peek there i guess i don't know but regardless not a bad champion but let's talk about her skills because this is where it goes all downhill okay her skills now the biggest issue with this champion is that her skill set is very weak i mean this a1 right here attacks one enemy two times okay and 80 percent chance of decreasing the targets per meter by 10 percent which is kind of useful in certain situations and also she feels her turn meter equal to the amount that the target loses right so her a1 you know not too good not too bad right but her a2 here attacks all enemies which is nice has a 75 percent chance of placing third and decrease speed which is okay you know it, it works out right you're reducing turn meter and you're decreasing speed i guess it synergizes but it's not like a strong synergy and then this also places a shield buff on the champion equal to 20 percent of their max hp for two turns now this a2 isn't really nothing special at all yes it attacks our enemy decrease speed but it only applies shield on her it's not like miscreated monster right so that's easily strike number one this a2 is not that powerful at all it's not really going to help you out so you're like man okay her a3 it has to be good she's a void legendary she has to give us some value wrong her a3 is equally crappy because this places a provoke diva on one target for one turn that is very lame there are epics that could do this much better legendaries for sure and maybe some rares i'm not sure but this a3 is crap and yes it does pr place a 50 percent ally protection buff on all allies but there's nothing here to help this champion herself to survive. She has an A2 that does provide a very small shield. 20% of max HP for two turns isn't really that much, especially if you don't have really good gear. So she's not going to do anything to keep herself alive. I mean, you provoke one enemy, that's fine. But if everybody on the opposite side does not AOE, she's gonna get wiped out really quick because the champion has nothing. She's not like the new Fat Mama because this champion here is made to survive and protect right i mean come on look at her a2 look at her a3 ally protection and strengthen and her passive she is a void legendary champion also her stats are even better than unbowed and she is an hp version but who cares man this champion you already know right off the bat is much better why because she's behind a paywall the other champion is behind login rewards which this is why i truly believe that unbound word it has to be something there i feel like palarium pulled one on us 
Regardless, moving on, she does have one really good thing about her, and it's her aura. Increases ally defense in faction crits by 37%. I think this is the highest defense aura out there. It is limited to, limited to faction crits, but hey man, at least she has that. And naturally, because I just don't like this champion, maybe someone out there has found some use for her. I don't know, maybe I'm missing it. So if I am, please tell me because I would like to know, but I really feel like the champion isn't that good. So I did not do her masteries because I really don't think it's going to help this champion at all. I mean, yes, a little bit, but not enough to make her great, right? So I also didn't put any books on her. I really just don't wanna waste any resources or energy on the champion. But what I did though, is give her some decent artifact sets because I did wanna test her out in some area. And for me, it's more confirmation. Yes, you could build her tanky and she will survive, but she doesn't really provide anything for your team. She's just not there for your teammates. And that really makes her useless in my opinion. So honestly, usually I would do some gameplay on her, but I don't know, it's really no point. So let's just go to my final thoughts and end this video short. Well, well. Look, you know, I don't like to sound negative and sad or depressed or whatever when it comes to this game, but it is very disappointing that this is our 270 day login reward. I mean, I'm sure somebody out there would be happy, but realistically, if you've been playing this game for almost a year, you would probably have a better roster already. I'm not sure. That's just me guessing. Even free to play possibly got some decent champions by now right i mean they did give us some good ones so it's not like you know we're really really absolutely hurting that we need a champion this bad it's almost like an insult and i really honestly feel like polarium purposely named this champion that and gave her as a reward the final reward for our daily logins i don't know what's going to happen in the future maybe we'll get better you know daily login rewards compared to this one but man i'm telling you this this champion's horrible so please guys please guys unless i am completely wrong please do not waste your resources on her i know she's a void legendary but there is a clear difference right she is a free one and the, the ones you pull from the shards actually can pull from the shards is going to be much better you guys already know most of you guys are pretty smart when it comes to this game and i really wish they will remove this champion from the shard pool because it's not a good champion. It just makes our pool of champions very diluted. And when you do actually get a Void Legendary and you get her, man, what a heartbreak. And with that being said, I'll see you guys on next video. And the next video I load will be my giveaway video. So look forward to that. But till then, hopefully you guys are enjoying your weekend. Catch you on the next one. And sorry, there's no gameplay on the champion. I mean, there's really no point. So. Anyways, thanks for hanging out. Catch you later.